Hi everybody, Tashi here from Pixie Mommy's Reborns. Welcome back to my channel, to everybody new. Hello and welcome. So today I am going to do a little hair care um, tips video for you all. Uh, reborn in silicone baby hair care tips. Before I get started, I want to let you all know that this channel has a new membership program. So if you would like to become a member of the Pixie Squad, you can click the link in the description below or the blue join button next to subscribe. It is $1.99 a month. That's all inclusive. You can cancel at any time and you must be 18 years or older. So come on in, check out the Pixie Squad. There's exclusive content in there, live streams, all that jazz. So less than the price of a cup of coffee a month. You got all that going on. All right, so let's get started here. And today, um, my little models for hair care, um, you probably haven't seen both these babies in a while. We have Stellan. Stellan is my Levi by Bonnie Brown. And we have Asir. Asir is my Sally Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. So we have one um, straight hair baby, uh, with light hair, and we have one dark curly hair baby, uh, so I can give you some care tips on both, um, types of hair. Of course, um, there's tons of different hair out there that could potentially be on your dolls. <laughs> uh, so to my knowledge, uh, both of these dolls do have, um, some type of mohair. Uh, there could be, uh, human hair, Toddlers are often rooted with human hair. It just really depends on the artist. Um, really, I would say that all hair care, you're going to kind of want to follow the same. Um, please, I just would like to put a disclosure, a disclaimer. I am not an artist. I'm not a professional. So any tips I give here today is just my own things that I've picked up going along as a reborn in silicone doll collector. So please care for your dolls at your own risk. So here are some tools that I use um, for my doll's hair care. Uh, one very, very important is water, um, a spritz bottle. Any kind of spritz bottle will do um, with water. I pour distilled water into the bottle. I do that because um, I am a I am a little leery. Um, I live in New York. We have hard water here, <laughs> so you know if you live in a state that has hard water, you'll know like up in your your shower head and stuff. You gotta you know do that occasional like dip or clean with the CLR because you get like lime scale build up and you know there's minerals and chlorine and things in our water so I don't want that building up on my doll's hair dripping down onto their paint etc so I use distilled water two would be a very soft brush so this is a wooden um, brush. I got this in a box opening, actually. So it's unbranded. I think you can get these on eBay unbranded. I know some of the ladies here use um, certain brands of these that have very soft, some even like animal hair bristles and things. And you can look into that. Um, I'm sure that those are very, very lovely. The soft um, brushes work very well for sparsely rooted babies. And I like them because... They, if you come down a little bit over, you know, where the paint is, I feel like it's just, it's nothing rough brushing on them and on the scalp. And most especially, I always use this for Oscar, which is my full bodied silicone doll, because, you know, going on his head, it's all silicone under there. And your silicone dolls, they're their hair can't be glued from the inside of the head like the Reborns can. So you want to be a little more gentle with your silicone doll's hair. Then we have a simple comb. You can use a baby comb. You can use a regular, you know, little hair comb. Doesn't matter. Then I have a regular um, uh, brush. This was actually one of my children's. It's from the John Lennon collection. So... I love this. This has a little bit more rougher of um, 
bristles so this goes through like my toddler's hair really good a baby with a thick head of hair or even like osteo this will not comb out his hair so when i completely wet it down and i want to you know just go through it straighten it out before i begin to zhuzh it and curl it up i will need to use something like this or and or the comb together then we have a toothbrush for styling the toothbrush works very very well for making purposeful curls okay for styling the the sparse hair a certain way for doing that little swivel in the front or for doing lifting a little up doing really any curl or any little flip type stuff or flip on the bottom toothbrush works fantastic obviously you want to use a clean you know new toothbrush and keep it just for your dolls and you know that's probably <laughs> self-explanatory then we have i enjoy the honest uh detangler the honest conditioner it's just got a nice kind of orangey smell to it um it's not too heavy it's not too filmy and it's just the one that i like if i'm going to use a little bit of detangler um there's many detanglers out there there's even ones that are made for reborn some collectors have their own special formula of uh making their own detangler so you can look around but this is just for me easy and I like it and normally if I'm going to use a little detangler I would just do like two spritzes on the brush I do not spritz on the baby because you know any drip downs or anything I feel like I don't want it on the baby's paint so we have that and then for my African American dolls um, my dolls that have you know African American hair uh, or, I mean, not human hair, but that hair style, um, curly hair, um, thick hair, dark hair. I use um, ca the Carol's Daughter, uh, it's Carol's Daughter's Hair Milk, and it's styling butter. This is a tip from his artist, from Kimberly's Cocoon. So you take just a tiny, tiny amount, like I'm talking like a little pea size amount, and you rub it in your hands like this and then on a wet head a completely drenched you know head of hair kind of work it in and then start juicing up your curls so this is a nice like little refresher in between conditioners especially for the babies that have you know a head of curly hair like osseo um you know if you don't keep your baby um covered every day or you know or inside a, a hope chest or a special box or something and your baby is just out sitting on the bed displayed one or two days of not moving the baby there will be dust dust gets in the hair so that's um that's another thing that I do recommend as much as you can keeping a cover over dolls that you're not lifting and playing with and touching and touching their hair and stuff every day um, because then they're just kept pristine and you don't have to maintenance them in that way. What I did, oh, I have here an example to show you. If I need to do a conditioning for a baby's hair, um, maybe once a year, especially dolls with a lot of hair on their head, um, they might need a refresher. I don't do it for fun or to wash their hair. In fact, to me, it's a bit of a project because I have many reborns. So if I don't have to do it, I'm not going to do it. But if I need to do it, I will bring the doll down to the sink, um, wrap a towel around the doll, um, wet the you know, wet the hair, cold water. I use very, very cold water because mohair, what happens to it, if you put warm water or hot water, it's like putting wool in hot water and it mats up and you will never, it ruins it. You can't like comb that out or do anything. It will ruin your doll's hair. So because of that, like I use freezing water, like I don't even want a chance. So I use very, very cold water. And I actually use the uh, L'Oreal um, 
conditioner that comes in like a box of hair dye, but you can order this online and buy it separately. But if you do dye your hair, obviously you can, you know, save some of this, which is what I do. Um, and a little bit of conditioner in your hands, just gently work it through the doll's hair. Nothing crazy, just, you know, enough so that the doll gets a rinse and the hair is refreshed. I can tell you with your dark hair babies, Asir is now going on his fourth year with me. So he's had, you know, probably three or four conditions. And then also in between, a whole wet down of his hair in the Carol daughter, Carol's daughter's milk. And I noticed after a couple times of conditioning and wetting down his hair fully, which is why I'm not going to give an example today, um, like you know, I'm talking about it and I'm sure you all can visualize it, but um, I need to then sit him up somewhere to dry his hair because the last few times I did it, I noticed if I laid him down, the dye from his hair would come out on the blanket or get on the clothes that he had on. And the mohair has, it can start to take on like a bluish tint and you can lose color, you know, out of their hair because remember that Unless your doll is like, you know, uh, like dark poodle hair or human hair or some something that the animal or person is that is the color of the hair, the mohair is dyed. <laughs> and on the darker babies, it can, you know, come out. So I try not to do much with Asya's hair. <laughs> um, and I love his wild, crazy curls. I am crazy, crazy for them. So I enjoy it. So. I did a video like this not that long ago with Noble, my Chase, um, who is now with Maribet. Hi, Maribet. Um, so, Maribet Robles on YouTube. You can check her out. You can see uh, Noble over there. Maribet is a dear friend. She's been with my channel since day one. She's been a friend to me um, literally since day one, so, since I stepped in the hobby. Wonderful, wonderful person. Um, so he has a full luxurious head of hair, which is, you know, to tame is, you know, I kind of shared that. So now, um, I have a request from a new collector who, when she got her first reborn, um, she, she the hair is more sparsely rooted and she wanted, to, you know, some styling tips and some, you know, to, to get it over the, you know, top of the head and stuff because sometimes not all our dolls are rooted with maybe like a full luxurious head of hair like we were dreaming of or they may be so sparsely rooted and new collectors don't realize how they can brush it to make it look right I guess so we're gonna go with Stellan and you really want to wet down the hair completely and I should uh let me just grab this is pink but this will have to do this blanket here because I do when I'm wetting my doll's hair you know I'm gonna cover the doll so they don't get you know wet even though it is distilled water but and this is getting low. I actually have to fill it. But you want to, I don't even have them in frame. <laughs> Here we go. You want to get the hair completely wet so that you can work with it. Now, most artists, even beginner artists, um, do um, root in somewhat of a direction. Um, okay. So, I mean, Stellan has a nice defined swirl, you know, anyways. But you want to start, e even if it's not directionally rooted, you want to try to pick a direction that the swirl is going to be and kind of make a swirl. So, you want to start with brushing the hair around, around the back, around, 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 and bring the hair in the front. Um... I mean, there's a gazillion different, obviously, styles. Like if I had my Maisie Shea out, she has um, blonde, curly hair. I do hair hair differently. But today, I'm ugh, giving an example of a more sparsely rooted baby. So now, once you have the hair kind of brushed out 
and going into a natural direction is what you want to bring the hair into a natural direction. You want to bring a swirl around. The swirl will also bring some of the hair up onto the top of the baby's head. So when you brush it, you can take the hairbrush and you can start, you can bring it like you know, a bunch to the middle to do like the, you know, some babies have that like little thicker up here going on and a swirly coming down. And basically your toothbrush is going to allow you to move the pieces of hair wherever you would like it. So now, oops. I'm going to dry Stilton's face a little bit. Now, if you have a little girl and you want to put a headband on, and then you can do a little flip over by the headband or even without a headband. It, it, Stilton's hair is very straight, but you can, you know, depending, you might find, you know, in playing, wetting the hair and playing with the doll's hair, that it has some wave to it. Stellan's does not. It's a very straight mohair, but some of them do. So when they dry up and you can even juice a little up and see if it gives a little curl, um, you know, Stellan's won't. So, you know, Stellan would get a, <laughs> you know, classic kind of, um, baby look here. Let me give another example because I do want to be able to help uh, Shelly. She requested this video. Hi, Shelly. <laughs> um, and Shelly is um, another one of my members of the Pixie Squad. Maribet's there too. Um, and she had actually requested this video for me. And I said, you know what? I'm going to put the video out here um, because that, of course, will help all, you know, new collectors coming in or just anybody that wants to brush up on hair care. Not that I'm the hair care. I'm not great with hair, to be honest with you all. Uh, um, It's not my, you know, fashion and hair is just not my thing. I was always like an athlete and a little bit more, I don't want to say tomboy. I, I'm, I march to the beat of my own drum, I guess. I <laughs> um, but I, you know, hair was, is not my thing, but, you know, I, I try to pick up on things and pay attention as I went along and learned from, you know, a lot of the hair care for, um, the, my curly, um, you know, African American babies. I learned, you know, all of, uh, the Carol's daughter milk, uh, the L'Oreal, um, that I learned from, from Kimberly's cocoon from the baby's artist. And she kind of did extensive study on like mohair and, you know, different kinds of hair. She's got such beautiful rooting on her babies. And she takes such care in, um, you know, before each baby goes home, they, you know, after they're done getting rooted, um, they get a, a, a conditioning treatment so that their hair is all fresh. There's no loose hairs, you know. They get a whole spa treatment before they go home, probably even before they get photographed. I don't even know, but definitely before they go home. She's certainly an artist that takes, you know, a lot of care in um, the, the finer little, you know, details and the things that, you know, we hold, you know, dear to us and important in the experience of adopting a baby. Um, so I did learn from her. So now you see little Sebastian and Sebastian is my newest addition. He is the Charlotte sculpt by Laura Lee Eagles. Look at this baby. And he's done by uh, Tammy at Paper City Dolls. Um, she just does an amazing job. I know that um, she makes no qualms about putting out there that she uses HP uh, Baby Locks um, to root all her babies. So I can tell you that he has HP Baby Locks. Now, his hair, he's got a little bit of a curl to it. I went with that golden blonde. I think that Emily... 
your Christopher, I bet that his hair is out of that batch. So uh, Emily has a beautiful little pip from Tammy. And Emily is at uh, Reborn Baby Love 83. If you want to go see her little preemie pip from Paper City Dolls, that boy will knock your socks off. He's a little tiny preemie pip and he's got like curls like I'll see her. Like it's not as, you know, full. It's just a little more sparse like a preemie should be. But he's got this same color and these curl. Oh my gosh, that baby came out and we were all like, oh wow, he is special. And all of Tammy's babies that have been coming off of her table, that that artist is on fire. <laughs> because look at him. So I think his batch probably came, was, you know, the same, you know, mohair as far as, you know, because it's not necessarily all exactly the same all of the time when the artists are ordering it, when they get it, you know. Um, it's mohair is processed and, you know, it's almost like no, you know, pour of silicone, even though it's the same artist, same blend, same silicone, but none is going to be exactly the same. You are going to notice some subtle differences because it's, it's handcrafted, you know, it's, it's not a fact, they're not factory products. So, um, you will notice differences, but I think this is out of the same batch. And this batch could have went to down to going into straighter. You know what I mean? Because that's kind of how mohair is. I advise, so see, I'm just, you would have to wait to see this dry to see what it's going to look like. But you can do, you can bring the hair and do, you know, things in the front if you have a little, you know, lot of sparseness going on maybe on the top of the head or whatever um but you want to bring the hair around and you want to take the toothbrush and try to go and try to look at the doll the baby and ch choose a natural pattern with way for the hair to go if that makes sense to you all um so I'm giving him little little side flips here <laughs> Because I thought that would just be cute since I'm doing his hair. That I would give him little side curlies. Even though he's not a girl. But I still think even for a boy. And we, I, he is so boy. I have yet to see another a, a boy Charlotte. I am very sure they're out there, but I have yet to see one. Has anybody seen a little boy Charlotte or a blonde? Just curious. <laughs> so there we have it. So questions are welcomed in the comments. And um, so if you have any questions that I could possibly answer for you, I will be glad to. I hope that that helped. I'm sorry that I didn't, like, totally do Osiris, but I, I explain why um, I do have a few babies. Like, I have AZ, and AZ is in the hope chest right now because he's a bigger baby, and I have a few babies in there because I'm, you know, running out of room here, and I get overwhelmed. It's nice to rotate them a little bit. So I hope you all got a little bit of... Um, everything I'm trying to think of uh, for a toddler for human hair it's the same things I would use the same products the same tools um, you know to do that and if you just kind of sit sometimes it takes a while and sometimes it takes many tries of the hair doesn't dry quite the way you want or whatever that you got to go back and re-wet until you figure out how that baby's, you know, hair is going to look right. Another tip I can say is the messy look is very realistic. So when it dries or even before it dries, if you want to give it a little mess, um, you know, instead of perfectly neat, like selling has a certain rooting that, 
um, and his hair is so perfect. It's very close to that Russian hair, very close. So it's like, you just got to go like that. And his hair is like perfect. So, and the style suits him well. Um, and some babies, they can just pull off a more looser, messier look. And then it becomes very realistic because let's face it, usually when we see a baby, unless their mommy is sitting there with the brush because they're doing a photo shoot, they're taking a picture and then they're going like this or going like that. Some baby's hair is perfect, but a lot of baby's hair isn't. And when you wake them up in the morning and it's up all over, when you take those pictures, they come out really realistic and really cute. Um, so just a little tip for that. Probably my next kind of tips video is going to be the photography. That was another suggestion of Shelly's. Um, it might make, take me a week or two to get to that. Um, it, but anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, make sure and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, check and make sure that you are subscribed to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you never miss a video and so you receive invites to my live streams. I hope I didn't leave anything out. I do have another hair care video up about, I want to say about four or five months ago and I I'm going to leave this video and the other one should be there in the inter introduction to the reborn hobby for new collectors. I got to look at what that playlist is, but you won't miss it. I only have a couple playlists. If you go into my playlist and you see like, you know, introduction, you know, tips and things for new collectors or something to, of the sort, you will see my other hair care video. So if I miss anything in this, maybe I cover it in that. Um, it's a good reason why we go over topics, um, even every several months, um, usually because we're, we're getting asked the questions because not everybody's going to sit there and go five months back and watch every video until they catch the hair care tips. So, yeah. <laughs> um, and there's always new collectors coming in, always new friends to make, always, you know, people that are asking that you want to take the time to show. Plus, it's fun. I was planning to change these babies, so got a head start here. All right, everyone. Till next time, God bless. <laughs>